Good evening. My name is Diego Meneses. I am a seventh grader and I am 12 years old. Tonight, I'm going to be talking about why religions should be taught in school. Last year, when I was in sixth grade in social studies, I was studying about Hinduism, Buddhism, and a little bit of Jainism. When I was studying for the test, I was discussing it with my mom. We asked ourselves this question. What are the differences between our religion compared to these religions we were studying? When we compared them, we found very important similarities. I was astonished by this discovery, but was left intrigued to learn more about other religions. The world today has been shaped by all the different religions and beliefs that have been since the beginning of human history. Paleolithic religion is the first type of religion in humankind. In the Middle Paleolithic, about 100,000 years ago, the first type of religious behavior were burial rites. Also, the Homo Neanderthals did religious animal cults. Today, we are more than 7 billion people in this world, and most of the population have religious beliefs. The main religions are Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Judaism. Also, according to the Ontario Consultants on ReligiousTolerance.org, there are 35,000 other religions, but these are branches from the main ones. Now let's get to the point, to my discussion. Why should religion be taught in school? What is so important of it that it's worthwhile? From my experience in being part of inter international school with students from different religions, disagreements may appear naturally among us. For example, a kid of a certain religion says something about another religion he fully doesn't understand. This comment could result insulting to the people of that religion, but the person who said this comment had no idea because he had no knowledge about this religion. So that's one of my reasons why I think religion should be taught in school, to prevent these sorts of disagreements to happen and to bring knowledge to curious kids who want to learn about other religions. The blogger and author Kerry Kilman explains in an article, One Nation, Many Gods, that for decades educators and politicians have been discussing and fighting over how to handle the growing diverse religions in a growing diverse student population. She explains in an article how one school in Modesto, California found a solution. This school has a growing immigrant population with a mix of Hindus, Buddhists, Muslims, and Christians. It is located in what residents call the Bible Belt of California. A group of ninth grade teachers developed a world religion curriculum for every ninth grade class in the district. This is the only school district in the entire country that mandates a world religion course for high school graduation. The results of this project show that students' respect for religious diversity has increased. They concluded that teaching about diverse religions has a positive impact on students' religious tolerance. Sadly, there are extremists to all religions, and extremist means belief in and support for ideas that are very far from what most people consider correct or reasonable. This means that an extremist takes his religion way too far. They only look at their religion and have no tolerance or respect over others. They want their religion to be imposed to others and those who don't follow them are considered enemies. For example, currently now in the Middle East, Christian persecution is taking place. A group of Muslim terrorists, the Islamic State, persecute and brutally execute those who oppose them. Christians and Muslims are main target due to religious differences. While I was preparing my speech, I interviewed a priest named Luis Montes. He is an Argentinian missionary and the pastor of the Baghdad Cathedral. Where he lives, there are normally about 20 bomb attacks all around the country daily. I asked him if he thought that if all religions were part of the school curriculum in all schools, he thinks that Christian persecution in the Middle East could have been prevented. And he answered me that yes, indeed it would. Some kids in Iraq are taught that Christians are monsters and deserve death. He also mentioned that Western countries do not fully understand Middle East religions, which creates a problem due to the lack of understanding. He also mentioned that some Muslim leaders in Iraq think this is all wrong. They say they have to change the school curriculum because what is happening is bringing violence to their people. Muslim leaders in Iraq share the same opinion as mine. A philosopher, Dan Dennett, a TED talker by the way, give a proposal on how should religion be taught in school. He says it should be taught in primary, middle, and high school, in public, private, and in homeschooling. 
There should be a curriculum of facts about religion that should teach about their history, their creeds, their rules, and their requirements. All this should be taught factually, straightforward to all the children of the countries. Remember, all religions coexist and will continue on existing. So, with this speech, I am challenging teachers, parents, presidents, don't be afraid to teach or talk about religion. This world has already suffered enough due to the lack of tolerance and respect towards others' religion. In some years, we are going to be the leaders of this world. We are going to be the presidents, the teachers, the parents. By knowing all this knowledge about religions, you make this generation, my generation, the future of this world an accepting one. The world needs an accepting generation that will help prevent wars, prevent religious discrimination, and make the world a better place. Thank you.